Converting to SIC is making the right move. In this case, FICO was planned, incisions have been made, the anticapsule is stained with type 1 blue dye, double rex is planned, but see what happens. I attempted to make a C flap, but Argentine flag sign is sent. Experts may proceed with FACO in such cases, but the right move is to convert to SICS because there are two weak points. One of those can extend posteriorly and there can be vitreous prolapse and a lot of other complications. So the right choice is to convert to SICS. Peritomy is done between the two incisions, the main incision and the side port. The cataract is grade 3 plus, so at least 6 millimeter incision is made, a mild frown incision. A crescent blade is used to make the tunnel. And the tunnel is completed. Rexis is already done, so we just have to prolapse the nucleus and deliver the nucleus. Whenever there is a extension of the rexis, run out of the rexis, this is the, the tunnel is being opened. Whenever there is run out of the rexis, I usually prefer uh, fish hook to deliver the nucleus. The nucleus is prolapsed, the fish hook is taken, the fish hook is made with the, um, just bending a 30 gauge needle. It goes behind the lens, turns and hooks the nucleus out of the eye. This is another case, hard cataract. The, the cataract is grade 4 plus and rexis was going nicely but suddenly the rexis runs out at 7 o'clock and it could not be you know retrieved. In this case also the right move is to convert to SICS. Since this is a hard cataract the Tunnel length should be at least 7 millimeter. Mild cautery is done. We may not do cautery. In those cases, the assistant has to pour in the saline or ringer lactate. The tunnel is made, incision placed, a crescent blade is used to make the tunnel. Making the right tunnel is one of the most important steps of SICS. If we hurry up, we may cause lot of problems like premature entry, very thin anterior wall of the tunnel. So to make the right tunnel with good corneal valve, we have to dedicate some quality time. So the tunnel is made. This is uh, the incision size is about seven millimeter. The nucleus is prolapsed. Again, I prefer the fish hook to deliver the nucleus. It goes and the nucleus is easily delivered out of the eye. and cortex is cleared and a lens is placed in the back. The bag is, you know, good. The, there is good amount of anterior capsular rim, so the haptics are placed behind the anterior capsular rim. 
because there is no PC rent, so the lens settles in the bag nicely. And see the beautiful post op picture after 24 hours. No corneal edema, antechamber quiet. There is very nice apposition of the conjunctiva to the limbus and patient gets 6 by 12 vision unaided. This is another case. In this case, there is fibrosis of the anterior capsule inferiorly. So as I try to do the rexis, the rexis goes nicely, but at around 6 o'clock or 6.30 o'clock, there is fibrous band and the rexis goes to far periphery. So, if I try to pull it, I can detach the jonule, it can cause a lot of damage. So, I take a scissor, micro scissor, cut the capsule, complete the rexis, and convert to SICS. People is becoming small, but once we convert to SICS, that is much safer even if the pupil becomes small. The nucleus is prolapsed in the anterior chamber. Viscoelastic substance is injected both in front and behind the nucleus. And now again I use the face hook. The nucleus comes out very smoothly. Cortical cleanup is done and an intraocular lens is placed in the sulcus. In this case, I took a PMMA lens and placed it in the sulcus. This is a 6 millimeter PMMA lens and the lens goes in the sulcus. And the patient did very well in the postoperative period. This is the post-op pictures. There was very mild corneal edema. Now this is the last case of this presentation. Posterior capsular rent has occurred and this heminucleus is still remaining. So I convert to SICS, make the tunnel and inject visco on either side and try to do visco expression. Visco on either side, both right side and left side of the piece. Press the posterior wall and the piece comes out. So, visco expression was done for this seminucleus. A multi piece lens sensor, multi piece lens is placed in the sulcus. In such cases, we must check if there is vitreous prolapse in the anterior chamber. Tramsinolone acetate is a very nice thing to detect any vitreous strand. This tramsinolone acetate molecules sticks to the vitreous strands and we can easily identify the vitreous strands. And whenever there are vitreous stands, see, you can see the vitreous stands coming out from 7 o'clock. So, I take the vitrectomy cutter and clear the, shape the vitreous stands. We can even go behind the lens and, you know, 
do some cleaning of viscoelastic substance that goes behind the lens. A nice anterior vitectomy is done and when you do a nice anterior vitectomy you get very good result. And whenever there is posterior capsular rent we should suture the wound even if the wound appears very nicely sealed and this is the postoperative picture the patient got 6 by 12 vision unaided and the patient was happy thank you very much for your attention